Hi guys, Stuart from Pocketlint here. Today we've got something very exciting being sent to the office. The Lego Movie 2 Welcome to the Apocalypse Berg set. Now this has got 3,178 pieces, numerous minifigs to build, loads of other stuff. And so we're gonna see how long it takes us to build it and show you through some of the cool things once we're done. Based on a key location from the new Lego Movie 2 movie, it is made up of over 3,000 individual Lego pieces in various shapes and sizes and features a whopping 12 brand new different Lego minifigs including Emmett, Lucy, Batman, Harley Quinn and others. When completed, the set measures a huge 52 centimeters tall, 49 centimeters wide, and 33 centimeters deep, and features one of the largest Statue of Liberty models ever created in brick form. The set is packed with dozens of Easter eggs from the new movie, from cars that have been turned into bars, to boxes of bat merch lying around. The set features one of the movie's key locations in the West Wasteland of what used to be Emmett and Lucy's beloved city of Bricksburg, now reduced to the rubble and known as Apocalypseburg. Clearly inspired by the final scene of the 1970s movie Planet of the Apes starring Charlton Heston, the set takes things in only a Lego way could by featuring everything from a tattoo parlor, a jail, a gym, a fast food cafe, and even a coffee shop for your Lego minifigures to enjoy. Exclusive to the set is also barbed wire. It's the first time we've seen it in a Lego set and it's used here for a number of different places including a basketball hoop. It's great fun to build with plenty of quirks and certainly makes a change from the usual clean and pristine approach we've seen from big Lego sets before. Lego fans that like to geek out about these things will also notice that you get new brick colours. Sand green, which is very similar to the Statue of Liberty colour, and sand blue. Other gems are the fried egg, Batman's apocalyptics-esque costume, and the platform at the top of the model for Lucy and Emmett to enjoy, yes you guessed it, a cup of coffee. Build time is a good couple of evenings and this will depend on your skill set. Keen to see the finished result, we blasted through it, but working with kids would take you longer. What we really like is the numerous rooms you can play with afterwards, giving us much more longevity as a set compared to the big and normally single scene sets we've seen before from LEGO, like the Star Wars Millennium Falcon or Jabba's Palace for example. Whether it's arresting Harley Quinn and throwing her in jail or checking out the surfboards, there's plenty to keep you busy. The iconic Statue of Liberty, the fun Lego shantytown that's built up around it and the laughable need to have a copy shop even though the world has supposedly gone to pot means this set offers plenty to either those keen to make an impressive set on their office shelf or kids actually wanting to reenact the movie once they've seen it. We also really like Lady Liberty's face, crown and flame. The attention to detail from Lego is pretty impressive and it really brings the statue to life.
The set is available now and costs $279.99 in the UK. I've been Stuart Miles. This is Pocket Lint. Thanks for watching.